on vacation with no planes, no hotels, and always budget friendly. Well, you go RVing, and I'm joined today by world renowned travel expert Alan Taylor, who is at the National RV Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Carly. I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, I'm excited to hear about this. I'm one of those. This is on my bucket list to eventually get one of these, an RV. But how do you convince people? Because I think it can be very overwhelming to venture out and do this for the first time. How do you convince people this is the way to travel? Well, you know, it's interesting. So many people, they are a little bit overwhelmed by it because it's scary. Well, the reality is it's not scary. It's the thought that's scary. You just got to get out and do it. You know what they say? Nike says, just do it. And, you know, around Tampa, there's within 100 miles, there's 75 campgrounds. As a matter of fact, Cross Creek in Arcadia has RVs you can actually rent on site. So if you don't want to pull one, you just go there in your car and you can rent. They have big ones that are like cabins to the small ones. So also there's Sun and Fun Resort in Sarasota has fully loaded cabins and things. And that way you're not having to pull it. Maybe that scary part is that pulling it. If that's the problem, problem solved. If you do have a small SUV and you're thinking, well, what size can I pull with my SUV? Let's say it's a Ford Explorer. Everybody knows that vehicle. The one behind me, sleeps five. There's bunk beds in there for the kids. There's a nice big bed for the mom and dad. And then guess what? The, the dinette lays down in case you want to bring a friend. One of the kids want to bring a friend. So these smaller RVs, they call them micro minis from Winnebago, they are really comfortable. The design is amazing these days. Everything's computer designed. They're lighter weight. Most of these campgrounds have connectivity so that Okay, it's getting darker a little earlier these days. It's still a great time because you make the campfire, you go inside, and you get caught up on your life a little bit. But what happens is life t tends to take over sometimes. You know, business is going on. I'm an entrepreneur. I work for an entrepreneur magazine. And every now and then I got to just disconnect. So I went to a campground that was three miles from my house. Blown away. I mean, you guys have 75 campgrounds within 100 miles, right? I was blown away. There's tennis courts. There's there's a uh, volleyball, there's a place to launch the boat into the river. I mean, you can't believe. There's just a little sign that says campground right here. <laughs> Pull off, go see what's there. It'll blow your mind. Well, and we here in Florida, I had imagined that we get to, to take the RV 90% of the year, right? I mean, there's very few weeks where it's too hot or too cold. I know. Well, listen, on the parts of the country that are getting snow, they don't have what you guys have. So the fact is that you can do one of those little weekend getaways and it clears the mind. And there's so much distraction in our lives. This is a way to get back to nature, get back to your relationship, look across at your loved one, <laughs> tell them you love them. It'll change everything. Maybe you get a new RV out of the deal. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, what is your tip to kind of going at like kind of exploring what the, because there are so many options, so it may even be hard to narrow it yeah. down. What's your advice in seeing what is best for your family or for kind of you, what you're going to be doing with it? Well, there's so many ways you could start this. You could start with price range. Maybe you want a pull trailer. Maybe you don't have an SUV or a truck. So then you're looking at, well, can I pull something with my car? Yes. Here at the National RV Show, they have every kind of imaginable trailer or motorhome, and they're making so many cool kind of extreme lifestyle things that you can pull with a little tiny Subaru, right? So the fact is that you can spend as low as about 10 grand for a brand new RV or a million bucks with Winnebago. They're about 15 to 450 grand. These are so beautifully designed. Now, I'm a guy, I like, you know, getting out there and being wild and crazy, but my wife, she still likes all the comforts of home. And if you look at the way they decorate these things these days, interior decorators, they just walk in and go, wow, right? So there's a little bit of something for everybody in the RV industry, and it's all at one website. Makes it easy. Go RVing.com. Easy enough. Me and your wife would get along. I like the idea of camping, but still the comforts of being at home. I love it. All right. Happy holidays. That's right. Go RVing in the new year. Thank you.